placental chorionic villi and its parts. This is zygote, mitotically divided and increased cell number. This structure known as the morula. It is converted into blastocyst. It contains two types of cell, embryoblast, which form embryo, tropoblast, which form fetal membrane. Here in this picture, in the lower part of the picture show, the blastocyst start to erode endometrium and enter within the endometrium. So this part, superficial part of endometrium known as the desuda capsularis and this basal portion of the endometrium is known as the decidua basalis. Decidua means pregnant endometrium. So this is the fetus with chorion and it is surrounded by decidua known as the decidua capsularis and this is decidua parietalis. This is uterine cavity and this is the decidua basalis present in between fetus and the myometrium. So this part is important because this portion of chorion and the decidua is from the placenta. So in the first week, a blastocyst is formed. In the second week, the embryoblast is converted into epiblast and hypoblast. And two cavities is developed amniotic cavity and primitive yolk sac cavity. Tropoblast converted into two types of cell, cytotropoblast and syncytotropoblast. Within the syncytotropoblast, some cavities are start to develop. This syncytotropoblast erodes the maternal blood vessel and the empty space within it filled by the maternal blood. In the second week of development, another important thing happened. The extra embryonic mesoderm is start to develop. You see, this is hypoblast. Hypoblast continue as exosilomic membrane, which line the inner portion of the cytotropoblast. This membrane is converted into extraembryonic mesoderm and within the extraembryonic mesoderm some cavities are developed. This cavity is unite and to the extraembryonic mesoderm is divided into two parts. One part run with the hypoblast, one part line the inner portion of the cytotropoblast. So this is the somato this is the splanchnic pluric layer of extraembryonic mesoderm. This is somatopluric layer of extraembryonic mesoderm. So this is secondary yolk sac cavity, amniotic cavity, and this is chorionic cavity. So what is chorion? Chorion is formed by the somatopluric layer of extraembryonic mesoderm, cytotropoblast, syncytotropoblast. This portion is known as the chorion. Chorion has two parts, chorion leaf and chorionic fondosum. What is the difference between chorion leaf and chorionic fondosum? You see here cytotropoblast and syncytotropoblast make some projected structure or villus and this villus is more developed in this area but here there is a chorion is smooth and so this portion is known as the coronic fondosome where coronic villi is well developed and this is coronic leaf where the coronic villi is less developed. So you see what happened the within the somatopuric layer of ex, uh, extra embryonic mesoderm fetal blood vessel is start to develop. So here is the fetal blood, you see, this is the cross section of this area. So in center we find 
cytotropoblast surrounded by thin cytotropoblast. In this picture, we see the somatopoly layer of extambinic mesoderm start to penetrate within the cytotropoblast and thin cytotropoblast. So, if we cut here, we find this type of structure the somatopoly layer of extambinic mesoderm, cytotropoblast, and surrounding thin cytotropoblast. When fetal blood vessel is start to develop within the somatopoly layer, this is fetal blood vessels. And you see here the cytotropoblast became discontinuous, but thin cytotropoblast is continuous. So you see this is maternal blood, this is fetal blood, and the barrier between fetal blood and maternal blood is cytotropoblast and thin cytotropoblast. If the cytotropoblast is discontinuous, then the barrier between fetal blood and maternal blood is separated by only thin cytotropoblast. So you see this is the fetal blood vessel, this is maternal blood and they are separated by two cell layer cytotropoblast, thin cytotropoblast when uh, this coronic villi or placenta mature this cytotropoblast is became discontinuous. This is the cytotropoblast. You see cytotropoblast is um, projected and start to develop uh, outward and then it's developed laterally. So the lateral portions are unite with each other and form a outer cytotropoblastic cell. So there is a uh, inner cytotropoblastic cell, outer support cytotropoblastic cell and this is the mature or tertiary coronic villi. So you see here the one portion is atus, the extramonic mesoderm or coronic plate, another long part is atus with the outer cytotropoblastic part and there is another several branches are present here. So, this portion is known as the stem villus and the portion is attached with the outer cytotropoblastic cell is the anchoring villus and this portion of the villus is known as the intermediate villus and this is the floating or terminal villus. So this is anchoring villus, terminal villus, intermediate villus, stem villus. You see this part of the villus, all villus are contain different branch of the fetal blood vessel except anchoring villus. This give only the support to the coronic villi. So let's discuss the each villus. At first the stem villus. The stem villus of human placenta represent the central branch of villus tree. These villi are attached to the coronic plate. This is the coronic plate. So this portion is known as the stem villus. They are characterized by the condensation of the fibrous stoma containing large vessel and micro vessels also. The anchoring filament. Anchoring filament, there is a no fetal blood vessel is present. Here, the collection of tropoblastic cell column is present here, and some tropoblastic cell enter within the um, spiral artery of or maternal artery. This invasion, uh, endovascular invasion of tropoblastic cell to the maternal blood vessel. Uh, this process is important for the uh, normal growth of the placenta and exchange between fetal blood and maternal blood. In preeclampsia, a important disease of pregnancy in which endovascular invasion is abrogated and cytotropoblast fail to 
adopt a vascular adhesion phenomenon. Intermediate villas. They connect the stem villas to terminal villas. They are considered growth center. They are primary site of the exchange during the first and second trimester. They have a loose or reticular stoma and more prominent vessels and a discontinuous the cytotropoblast layer with a continuous outer thin cytotropoblastic layer. The floating or terminal villas freely uh, float in the intervillous space contain high degree of micro vessels capillary that are crucial for the maternal and fetal exchange of nutrition and gases. They are characterized by the bilayer epithelium cons con consist of discontinuous cytotropoblast with continuous syn cytotropoblast. So this is all about placental chronic villi. If you like this video, please press the like button. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.